welcome back to the vlog today is thursday and we are on ramadan day eight i feel like this month is going by fast but day by day it's like so slow so i woke up today i had all these plans to do such fun things on the vlog i was going to go to target i was going to take you guys with me to get my dress altered and just make it like a really fun vlog because i feel like these past few vlogs like i've been in my house doing the same thing and i'm so sorry but i feel like during ramadan like that's what a lot of us do we just like stay home and we get in our little routine and that's just kind of what you do the entire month also i have barely worn makeup or like got ready this month so I apologize, but this is just how it's gonna go. But then I remembered that I have a sponsorship that I have to film today because it's due tomorrow. And typically like one day is enough for me to like film content, turn around and turn it in the next day. But I just like forgot that I had to film that today. So that kind of threw me off. So I'm getting set up to do that right now. And I thought I would just take you guys on a little behind the scenes of content creation. So this um, ad is gonna be with First Aid Beauty. It's for their facial radiance pad. I love working with First Aid Beauty. I work with them like once a month you guys know i love their ultra repair cream i love their kp bump eraser these facial radiance pads are amazing for like a little glow in the morning and just a lot of their products are really really amazing and i always only accept sponsorships that i truly like believe in the brand and believe in the product so i just love working with them because i genuinely love and use their products so i'm doing a reel and it's going to be like a little ramadan morning routine depending on the campaign a lot of times you have the flexibility to basically make the content whatever you like as long as you showcase the product so i want to do a ramadan morning routine because i feel like that's very realistic of what my life is right now I just feel like that'd be a great way to showcase these so basically the first scene is going to be me like getting out of my bed making my bed and then i'm going to go into my bathroom and start my skincare routine so let me show you guys my little filming setup and a lot of the times i will film my reels on my g7x which is what i'm vlogging on right now but i feel like today i want to um film this on my iphone i have the iphone 14 pro it shoots really good quality i feel like i want this reel to be a little bit more casual and laid back and sometimes with like a more professional camera it can just look very serious so that's kind of the vibe that i'm going for with this so this is the tripod that i use i will actually link all of my like content creation things down below but um it's a foldable tripod so it literally just folds up into this like skinny stick and then you can undo it and it expands like this so i'm going to be using the back camera because it gives a little bit better quality i always make sure the lens is clean first so i just clean that off with like my shirt or like a towel or whatever just make sure there's like no smudges and i record in 4k 30 frames per second that i have found to give the best quality as for lighting i have pretty good natural light because i have my window open and i do have these two lights on just so that it's not dark but i don't really need to adjust the lighting but if i did so if you click there's like this little sun and if you go up it makes the image brighter and if you do it down it dims the image but i'm just gonna keep it how it is because it looks really good on its own and i'm gonna back this up because i want the lamp and like my side table to be in the frame so i'm gonna back it up here and make sure i can get all of that in the frame and sometimes i like to zoom in a little bit just to like 1.1 or 1.2 because it makes like the image a little bit clearer for some reason i have found that, that works really well so i have it set up exactly how i like it i'm gonna go ahead and get started this will probably be like a 15 to 20 second reel but depending on like how detailed and specific you are these things can take like two hours just depending on like how many shots you need and stuff like that i tend to take a little bit longer because i just like to really take my time and make sure i get every single shot that i need so i'm gonna go ahead and get started and i will just let you guys watch me do my thing I just watched that first frame back and I didn't like it, so we're gonna do it again. Okay, I did it the second time and I liked it, so now I'm going to make my bed and get that on camera. And I'm gonna move the um, tripod a little bit closer so we can switch up the angle. I 
finished the bedroom part, which is good. I feel like we're moving through this pretty fast, actually. And now I'm going to do the part in my bathroom. So I want it to be where the phone is filming me, like, in the mirror, looking at myself doing my skincare. So you have to position the phone to where you can't see it in the mirror. So you have to do it like a side angle, but I like this angle. It looks a little bit more natural than just like straight on the camera, like applying the products. It's more of like a bird's eye view. You have to be careful with these iPhone tripods sometimes because the phone can get kind of crooked, which is not good obviously i'm definitely gonna have to zoom in a little bit to get the angle that i want i don't know if you guys can see but that right there is what i want um the lighting in my bathroom is not the best at all because there's no natural lighting in here at all so i always have trouble with the lighting in here so this is probably going to take me a little bit longer i might have to bring my ring light in here we'll see i'm just going to do it um a couple of times play around with it and just see how i like it Okay, I'm gonna have to move into my office because this lighting is not doing what I want at all and I think I can get some better shots in there, so we're moving. I'm gonna shoot from this angle right here, sitting in the chair and I have the phone there and this is better lighting because we have a big open window with lots of natural light. But since all of this is in the background, I wanna set it up and make sure it looks really nice. So we're gonna light the candles and move any extra stuff that's not supposed to be there. Okay, we're almost done. I'm just gonna get a little clip of me lighting my candle or my um, incense over here on the couch. And that'll be the last shot and then we'll be done. All right, I'm done. That's a wrap. Um, I don't remember what time I started. I think it was like around 2, but now it's like 5. I did take like a few breaks because I talked on the phone and then I went to go say hi to Lena because she just got here. But um, it probably took me a total of like 2 hours, which is pretty typical for me. So I need to go pray at the hood before I miss it. Usually I like to pray it like right when it comes in, but I was just like in the middle of doing some work. So I pushed it off, but now we gotta go pray. I feel like I've been in my pajamas all day, so I can't wait to change into some normal comfy clothes after this but i get asked a ton about my prayer clothes and this set is from zahra the label but unfortunately it is sold out in the regular size i know they have like plus size in stock but i really hope that she brings it back sometime soon because they are such good quality so luxurious like they feel so good on because they're like um, really silky and they just like fit really nicely. I know some prayer clothes can like literally look so Ridiculous. Let me show you guys my old ones. They're from like seven years ago like these bright pink Pepto-Bismol Prayer clothes and I used to use these and then I posted on my Instagram one time like how ridiculous I looked and then Zahra kindly sent me a new set so thank you so much Zahra um, so hopefully inshallah she brings this back in stock because I know a lot of you guys would like love to have these. I love having like matching sweat sets to wear during Ramadan because I like to feel like cozy but I still want to be put together and not like a slob so I'm going to change into this. Actually this did not come together but it matches perfectly. These pants are from Pretty Little Thing. I love this blue color and then I got this sweatshirt from Amazon. This is the most comfy thing i have it in blue and in gray and i feel like they match perfectly it's like the same shade of blue so i'm gonna change into this another thing that just like makes me feel a little bit more put together is spring perfume and my favorite one right now has been the ysl black opium this smells so good <clears throat> i used to never be a sweet perfume kind of girl i always liked a little bit more musky and like unisex stuff but this is just so delicious it's like a sweet vanilla with a little bit of spice it is just delicious so i mentioned we're taking our family photos on saturday and i ordered some dresses from zephyr the label and i was really hoping that they came anytime because there's one that I really want to wear, and I just got the packaging like right now, so 
this is perfect because if not, I really don't know what else I was gonna wear. This is so pretty. It's like a little bit of a high neck. It has these really pretty sleeves. I should really try this on for you guys so you can see, but I'll share it later um, when I have it on. And it has this nice cinch around the waist. Yes, this is so gorgeous. I think the waist is going to be really pretty because it like tapers up like that. The sleeve is kind of similar to the other dress. The bottom is tiered. It's a really nice like silky material. So this white one is called the Melina Tiered Smock Maxi. I get a size extra small. And then this one, what's it called? This one is the Amelia Dress in the shade Dusk. Okay, next I have another really exciting package. I am so excited for this. So I'm actually gonna be working with Revolve over on Instagram. I made some selects of their spring stuff and I just love Revolve. All of their pieces are really high quality. I love wearing blazers in the spring and summer. So this is a white blazer and it came with, um, this belt that crosses over in the front, it's gonna be so, so cute. I've really been wanting to style like a long maxi skirt, so I got this one. It's like a really dark denim, and I think I'm gonna wear it with some like sneakers and a bodysuit. I just hope this fits. I had to get a size 25 because it said it ran big, but I think, I think that'll fit. These are some pants. I thought these were so cute. They're like a little satin jogger. It ties really cute at the waist and I think this will be so cute paired with some like fun heels. And I did get a few pair of shoes that I'm excited to show y'all. This is like a little cropped denim jacket. I love the beige color. I think it's super fun. I'll probably wear it with like a bodysuit and some jeans. Okay, and the rest are shoes. I love shoes from this brand. I think you pronounce it Ray, but they have like the best styles. Everything is so cute. So these are like a little tiny kitten heel that um, that lace up on the ankle and I was thinking to wear these with those joggers and I love the square toe. These are gonna be so cute for spring and summer. Oh my gosh, these are even cuter than I thought. I love a good plain sandal for the spring and summer because I'm always finding myself just like wanting to throw on sandals with any outfit. So I feel like these are perfect because they'll match anything. Okay, these heels are so cute. We have the same square toe. I just feel like that's super flattering and this beige color will literally match anything. And I love to get a shorter heel i'm just like so over the six inch heels i feel like something a little bit shorter is more classy i love these so cute i will have everything linked down below and i'm so excited to style these it's going to be super fun Sure. For dessert, we're having ice cream and brownies that my mom made. Wow, it's gonna be so good. 